Welcome to USA Explorer. Before you, start ex Before you start exploring, please fill in your name, your age, and your address, then use these arrows to find a photograph you like. Hi, my name's Joe. I'm off on a trip around the USA with my parents. If you want to take on the Explorer Challenge and follow me, then answer the phone when it rings. Or if you want a guided tour of all the activities in your bedroom, then click on the train. Bye. Hope to see you later. Welcome aboard. There are lots of things to discover in your bedroom. Just click on the sides of the walls to move around. Wherever you see this suitcase, you can open it up to find print, copy, help, and other useful things. Click here to play the Raise the Flag quiz and test your knowledge about the USA. You can become a USA Explorer by completing all the trips to track down Joe in the Explorer Challenge. Just click on the telephone to start the game. The trips you take will be recorded in your travelog. As you travel around, don't forget to fill in your sticker book. When you want to quit, just click on the quit sign on the door. In this part of the bedroom, you can see what's on the television. Look at a map of your continent or see where your country is in the world. Click on this poster to print out map outlines that you can label, color, or fill in with features. On your notice board, you can collect postcards you have written. And here you can create and record an up-to-the-minute weather report for your country that can be replayed on the television. Use the index to look up towns, regions, and famous places all around the country. And finally, the country map will take you to any part of the country you wish to visit and provide you with a treasure trove of interesting facts. And remember to look for me whenever you need more help. Hello? Hello, it's Joe here. I need your help. I've left behind an important parcel. Can you bring it to me? Click on the parcel if you want to start the adventure. Select the easy or the hard level. I'm looking out at the Pacific Ocean from a golden red colored bridge. Mom says that workers start painting the bridge from one side and work their way across. When they're done, they turn around and paint it again in the other direction. My Map of the USA
Excellent. Joe's left you another clue. Click on the envelope to read it. Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge is a favorite symbol for the city of San Francisco. The bridge is 4,200 feet long and was the longest bridge in the world when it was first opened in 1937. The bridge is painted a reddish golden color and welcomes people to the Golden State of California. Send a postcard. And here's a photo for your travelogue. Great job! But now we've headed off to the Gulf of Mexico in search of oil. There are millions of gallons of oil buried underground in Texas. Oil rigs work day and night drilling deep into the earth for the precious oil. Hurry and find us! Mexico Mexico is a huge country with desert in the north, rainforests in the south, and high mountains running down the middle. There are often earthquakes in southern Mexico. This journey takes 11 hours. Oh no, Joe's gone again, but here's the clue he left. Drilling for oil. Buried under the ground in the state of Texas are millions and millions of gallons of oil. All over the state, oil rigs dig deep into the earth in search of this oil. Oil is very valuable because it can be used to make many useful things, such as gasoline to power cars. And here's a photo for your travelogue. Terrific work! You found us! Catch up with us at the Daytona International Speedway in Florida. This track is mostly known for car racing. However, there are also motorcycle and go-kart races. I feel the need, the need for speed. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is an exciting party held each winter in the town of New Orleans. Mardi Gras means Fat Tuesday in French. Fat Tuesday is the last day of feasting before the Christian season of Lent begins. Mardi Gras is a big celebration with parades, balls, and plenty to eat. Send a postcard. Corpus Christi Bay. To celebrate the 500-year anniversary of the voyages of Christopher Columbus, the people of Spain built replicas of the three ships that he and his men traveled in. The replica ships, called the Niña, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, are now docked in Corpus Christi Bay. Cuba. Cuba is the largest of the islands in the Caribbean Sea. Many Cuban people are farmers. They grow rice, coffee, and sugar cane on the hillsides. This journey takes four hours. You're hot on Joe's trail. Here's the latest clue. Racetrack. The Daytona International Speedway is a famous track for professional speed races of all kinds. 
One famous race is the Daytona 200. This is America's premier motorcycle event. Racers speed their superbikes around the track 57 times in hopes of winning the race. The first race of the Daytona 200 was in 1937. And here's a photo for your travelogue. Good job! You are right on track in your search. Now let's see if you can find me climbing up the face of Half Dome Rock in Yosemite National Park. Bring some ropes and climb up and find me. Rocket Ship The John F. Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida is one of NASA's National Aeronautics and Space Administration centers. Kennedy Space Center is the starting point for many of the American astronauts who travel into space. Traveling into outer space, we can take a closer look at the moon, the stars, and other planets around us. From space, scientists can learn a lot about how the Earth was formed many millions of years ago. Using special satellites, they send back pictures of our weather patterns and beam messages from one side of the world to the other. Our world is just one small round planet, part of a huge universe waiting to be explored. Canada. Canada is the largest country in North America. Canada's main cities are in the south. The north is covered by forests and tundra. This journey takes 46 hours. Ottawa is the capital city of Canada. Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park is the largest and most famous national park in the United States. The park contains many hot springs and geysers. The park's best known attraction is Old Faithful, a powerful geyser that erupts almost every hour. Good job! Good job! Rocky Mountains. Native American Indians. The first people to live in the United States were the Native American Indians. There were many different tribes of Indians, such as the Sioux, who lived on the Great Plains. Sioux Indians hunted buffaloes and lived in shelters called teepees. Places Towns Mountains The United States
Good job. You are right on track in your... North. Yellowstone National Park. To win a sticker, answer this question. <laughs> well done. You've won yourself a sticker. In Natural Wonders. Index A to Z Good job! A to Z of everything. Excellent! Click here for the next clue. Half Dome Rock. In Yosemite National Park in California, there is a very uniquely shaped rock which is called Half Dome. Rock climbers from all over the world travel to Yosemite to climb the steep face of Half Dome. And here's a photo for your travelogue. Hello again. We've headed to New Mexico this time and are planning to take a ride in a hot air balloon. How exciting! Hot air balloonists are people who fly their colorful hot air balloons in contests. Up, up, and away! You're hot on Joe's trail. Here's the latest clue. Hot air balloons. Hot air balloons come in many different shapes and colors. A hot air balloon floats into the sky because it is filled with gases that are lighter than air. Every year, the city of Albuquerque hosts an international balloon fiesta where hot air balloonists compete and show off their balloons. To win a sticker, answer this question. <laughs> Well done. You've won yourself a sticker. <laughs> Quick! Oh, and here's a photo for your travelogue. Nice work! You're becoming a great explorer! We're celebrating Mardi Gras in New Orleans. I can't believe all the colors, parades, and great food to eat. There are millions of people here, so you will have to look really hard to find me. Excellent! 
Click here for the next clue. And here's a photo for your travelog. Well done! I'm playing with two cute sea otters off the California coast. There are a lot of sea otters in the Pacific Ocean around Monterey Bay. Did you know they like to eat while swimming on their backs? How fun! Look, Joe's left you another clue. Monterey Bay Aquarium. One of the most popular attractions at the Monterey Bay Aquarium is the sea otters. Sea otters are mammals that live in the Pacific Ocean. They eat in a most unusual way. The otters place their food on their stomachs while swimming on their backs, then use their paws to lift the food to their mouths. And here's a photo for your travelogue. Outstanding job! We've now headed to Tennessee to see one of the country's most famous steam trains, the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Did you know someone even wrote a popular song about this train? All aboard! Oh no, Joe's gone again, but here's the clue he left. Steam engine. Over 100 years ago, the fastest way to travel was by steam train on the railroad. One of the most popular trains of the time was called the Chattanooga Choo Choo. The train was so popular that a well-known American song was written about it. And here's a photo for your travelogue. Well done! You found the right spot. I've headed to South Dakota. I'm now looking up at the four faces on Mount Rushmore. Each face is 60 feet high and shows the likeness of a famous former president. Catch up with me! Great Plains. The Great Plains area sits right in the middle of America. It is made up of five states plus the northeastern part of Texas. Along with the Midwest, the Great Plains make up the American heartland. The area is mostly a grassy flatland. The Great Plains have very cold winters and hot summers. Here's Joe's next clue for you. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is a very famous sculpture in honor of four of the most famous presidents of the United States. Carved onto the side of Mount Rushmore are the faces of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt. Each face is nearly 60 feet tall. To win a sticker... <laughs> well done! You've won yourself a sticker! Quick, open the next clue. And here's a photo for your travelogue. Oh, good. You found the right place. But now we've headed to Corpus Christi Bay on the Gulf of Mexico. 
We're checking out the replica ships from Columbus's voyages. Come on aboard! Fantastic! You've caught up. Click on Joe to give him his parcel. Ah! At last you've found me! And you've brought my parcel! It's my favorite boots! I really need them with all the walking I've been doing. Oh, look! I've got something for you. A medal for all your hard work. It's for you to keep in your travelogue. Only four more medals to win, and you'll be a USA Explorer! Well done! You've completed your first trip and won your first medal. Only four more to go, and then you'll be a USA Explorer.